y'all welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see this is another hair video if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Mianda Yanda Yanda Mia the Don if you're not new what's popping y'all how y'all living I know this is uh not my first video of the year but happy new year especially if you're African or Caribbean y'all know we're gonna be saying happy new year until June so let's go ahead and get right into it now, I am not a braider. I say that all the time. I'm not a braider. I'm not a cosmetologist. I'm nothing of the sort. So, when I do my own hair, I would just be giving disclaimers because, you know, don't judge me. But I definitely was at the point where I did not want to wear any wigs. I wasn't ready to get my hair braided yet by my actual hair braider. And then I was tired of doing my slick hair updo. So this is how I found myself doing passion twists on my own head. And this was my first time doing um any type of braids on my own head to be honest besides like cornrows. <laughs> So I wanted to do passion twists, but I didn't want to spend all day on my hair. So I went ahead and I did the rubber band method. The rubber band, the rubber band method, if you don't know, is like, it's just a simpler way to do your hair. As you guys are seeing me do it right now, what you'll do is, as I've done, you'll section your hair. And then you'll part that section into however many parts you want. I did medium to larger size parts. So that's why mine were, um you know on the bigger side and then you'll go ahead and just section out your hair before you braid your hair instead of how it's regularly done you'll you know section part braid section part braid you know you just section your whole entire head and then you start braiding after your head is sectioned out so my hair was definitely um clean right here it was washed and it was blow dried it was moisturized i put some oil in it and i put cornrows in it the night before just so you know my hair could stretch out a little bit without like having to stretch it for real so yeah shout out to all my hair braiders though because as i said this is the first time i braided my hair i've done anything to my hair you know braid wise besides that 30 inch long braiding ponytail that i did man braiding is not a joke it's not for the faint of heart it's not for the weak so shout out to all of my hair braiders and those who like this is your income this is your living may the odds ever be in your favor because wow when that like my my arms were like now say this we don't know who you mistook us for but please come correct because you got the wrong people i was like <laughs> like my shoulders were like you really tried us on today but I was proud though I know I know my style you guys have seen my sections weren't that great and my parts weren't that great however I got my hair done and I can finesse on my head versus somebody else's head so I was very pleased with my hair because I was just really tired of like I was tired period you guys are just getting a front view of me sectioning my hair as I said I wasn't um so particular in the back but in the front, I did take a little bit more time just because when people look at your hair, they look at the front of your hair. Like, if you're looking at the back of somebody's hair, you're mad close. So, it's usually the front of your hair. And I come in forehead first. So, y'all was going to see my braids. So, I wanted to make sure that I um, sectioned my hair properly. Now, I did, again, they were larger to medium. But where I could section a little bit more out, I definitely did. <laughs> And honestly, all you need for this is the Shine Jam or Edge Control or Gel, whatever works on your head, and a comb and the rubber bands, and that's that's honestly it. Besides the braiding hair. <laughs> So now that my hair is fully parted, I actually, <laughs> I look like, uh, what's her name? Cynthia from Rugrats, if you know, you know, but, um, my hair is fully parted. I went ahead and I took the braiding hair. Honestly, I really, I'll make sure I have it in the description box. I think it was model, model hair, but I'll make sure to be sure. What you're going to do is you are going to take your braiding hair and you're going to place it above or on the rubber band. That's what I did personally. You can do it however you like to do it. Above or on the braiding hair. 
and I before I actually started braiding it I took some shine gem to my hair just to slick it all out so it would braid better and blend better in the hair and then I just braided it and I made sure to grab it tight just because as even though I'm not a braider I've, I'll, I'm gonna keep saying even though I'm not a braider I know enough that you don't want loose braids you don't want to turn your head and you're looking at five braids on the floor that's not cute that's not so yeah <laughs> yeah and as you're braiding your hair, I don't know about everybody else, but mine started to get tangled because I wasn't going all the way down. So make sure you run your hands through the hair all the way down as you're braiding before you twist it. Otherwise, you're going to be fighting the hair and you don't want to do that. I had to redo a couple of my braids because I had messed them up. So make sure when you are braiding the hair, you run your hands through. But other than that, you just place it where you want to place it and get your shine jam. Make sure your hair is slicked down and then braid braid until your hair is fully braided up and twist and you're done as you guys can see I went off camera to do you know the back of my head most of my head honestly and y'all can see my hair is not you know it's not the neatest parting however if you're close enough to see it and you're not watching this video you're too close and we're in a panoramic a panasonic a panty so you need to back up and get you some business anyway but we move the head was done <laughs> like I said I'm not a person who like it, it was just like I was just like I'm not trying to spend all day on my head even though I had the time to do it I was like man I am off from work and I'm trying to actually finish my hair in one sitting I'm not trying to wake up and have to do it tomorrow I'm not trying to any of those shenanigans so like I said the back wasn't as particular as the front but I definitely went ahead and made things shake a little bit I just needed something quick easy and simple and I definitely got that in total it took me about four and a half hours one and a half on the parting and then like three 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 and a half hours um braiding I'll like give myself some time but like you know had there been no distractions and me not stopping um I probably could have done it quicker but yeah I was happy with my results I'm still happy with my results because you know it was my first time doing my hair so your girl was proud I'm very proud hopefully the next time it'll come out looking better but this was my final product it wasn't heavy I only ended up using two packs of hair in um in total I bought three but I only ended up using two so yeah um, yeah, I just went ahead and showed y'all a few cute little styles. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it gives inspo to whoever is, you know, feeling what I was feeling because I was like over my hair. I know we all have those, um, we all have those moments when we're sick of, um, our hair. So, I hope it gives you some inspo. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys, you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, check out my playlist, and turn on your post notification bells. I will see y'all in my next one. And like I said, Happy New Year, everybody! Big ways, five days, ten days. I don't do it for you, my charge. For you, my charge.